So this is derecho. It's one of the most powerful supercomputer in the world. There's a deafening roar behind derecho's 19.87 petaflops of computing speed. Which means you can do more than uh, 19 quadrillion calculations per second. The name derecho connects a powerful weather phenomenon with the mission of its users. It is uh, uh, like a, a, a tornado that is going to help our scientists solve problems of the future. Irfan Alahi says one of the big advantages that derecho offers is major improvements to AI and machine learning techniques. The new information they will be able to gather from simulation and modeling of the Earth system will be at a different scale. He says a finer scale means more detail and more detail equals better understanding. And one of the reasons NCAR chose Cheyenne, Wyoming as a home base for their computerized weather research is the weather itself. Supercomputers create a lot of heat. And one of the nice things is the climate here. Uh, the dry, cool air, we don't need a lot of power. We basically use a big swamp cooler to cool our supercomputer, so it's super efficient. Cool water runs through these blue tubes past each of Derecho's processors. The machine's heat gets absorbed and carried away in the red tubes, keeping this supercomputer super cool. Which is why NCAR says Derecho only uses 40% more energy than its predecessor, despite being three and a half times more powerful. In Cheyenne, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.